Hi, good afternoon. We have come to another question on application of integration. Now, in this question, you are given this graph y squared equals to 4x. Now, a cup is obtained by rotating the parabola. This is a parabola y squared equals to 4x about the x axis. Now the volume generated is 32 pi. Find the diameter of the rim of the cup given that the radius is 2. Now the radius of the base is 2. So this is the base. This is the rim of the cup. Now radius of the base is 2. All right, this is the radius. This part is the base. All right, so this is 2. Now this is rotated about 2 pi about the x-axis. Let me draw it for you in 3D. So you will get a circular top rim. And then this is the base. Right? Can you see? Now this is the cup. Now, so you are given that the volume of this cup is 32 pi. Now, let us find the volume of the cup and we equate to 32 pi. Now, how to find the volume of the, uh, the volume that is generated between this region when it's rotated 2 pi about the x-axis. Now, let's find by dividing this into small little discs. Let me draw one particular disc for you. This is the surface of a disc. Now this is the thickness of the disc. Alright, so this is dx. Now imagine the thickness of the disc is so small that it is very close to zero. Then you get a circular disc. Now, so what is this height here? This height is y. Okay, this, this height here is y. Alright, y changes as we change, as, as x changes. So the volume of this Now, take it as a this first. Now, what is the volume of the disk? It's pi y square dx. This is pi r square h. h is dx. All right? Your r square is y square. Now, you're supposed to find the volume of the cup. So, you sum up all the disks that is from x1 to x2. x1 to x2. Now y square is even given by 4x. So you integrate 4 pi x1 x2 x dx. What do you get over here? Now this you integrate will be x square over 2. Then you can the 2 and the 4 cancel. So you got 2 pi x squared. Now, it is given that 2 pi x uh, then you have the limit, sorry. Now, so you have 2 pi x2 square minus 2 pi x1 square equals to 32 pi. Now what is x1? Now, when y is equals to 2, then you have 4 equals to 4x1. This is x1 when y is 2. So you got x1 as 1. 
Now, of course, the pi you can cancel. Okay. Now, so you what you do get? You got x square x two square minus two equals to thirty two. So x two you is root square root of thirty four. Now you reject the negative square root because it's a it's a read uh it's the x represent the distance right the length so it cannot be negative. Now, so what is this y here? Y will be given as y square is four x so implies y will be equals to 4 square root of 34 y square sorry and that implies y will be equals to 2 34 to the power of a quarter now square root of 4 is 2 this is square root of 34 is square root of half then so y is 2 times square root of 2 times 34 to the power of a quarter now but you are asked to find the diameter of the base all right find the diameter of the rim sorry this is the rim all right this is the diameter this is the diameter okay this is the rim this is the sorry this is the diameter of the rim that is a radius so this is the diameter of the rim all right two times the radius is the diameter Therefore, diameter will be equals to this one you need to times 2. So you will be equals to 4, 34 to the power of a quarter units. Uh, CM, alright, because, because this is CM. So this units also should be in CM. For that, we have come to the end of this question. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.